what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so i'm going to be talking about this theory that i've been seeing thrown around some people that actually brought this up to me the whole idea of a true crime documentary going on in screen five or something that's basically just of course them going into the town of woodsboro or maybe across several different locations in this universe where the ghostface killing sprees have happened and they're having sit downs with people who actually went through the events which could lead to us speculating we could be seeing far more cameo appearances in this film than we initially are anticipating because i know we speculated about kirby hayden pantier possibly appearing if she is alive and then we've also speculated about joel speculation more or less confirmation already about martha meeks appearing in the film and then other things like detective mark kincaid appearing and I've just been thinking about what if the fact this is something that's interesting to consider. What if they are doing a true crime documentary of sorts within this new film? And that's kind of like the next step in the direction they would go with wanting to be in the now making commentary on what's going on within today's current climate. Because I know for a lot of you who watch me that are wrestling fans, you know about those behind the ring documentaries that we get over on I don't know what channel is, but if you if you watch wrestling, you know what I'm talking about. We get all these other true true crime documentaries about things that actually went on from the real people themselves. So we could be seeing something like that in Screen 5. I think that would be cool. And the reason I am now on the bandwagon for something like that potentially happening is because of Rebecca Gayhart leaving a comment underneath Kevin Williamson's recent post that he shared of him, Courtney, and Nev on the set of screen five outside of the mocker house recreation which has led many of us to speculate that we could be very close to getting a screen five teaser i'm still going to latch on to this friday if it doesn't come out this friday oh well i was wrong about the quiet place 2 trailer attachment for screen five or teaser attachment rather so she left a comment a little hard under that and you know with everything going on this might be pulling at straws but with all these other people that have been talking about screen five and us speculating about all these returning cast members coming back to fulfill these roles whether it be small or big roles rebecca gayhart as we know was in the movie as one of the sorority sisters who were kind of snobby towards sydney honestly uh and they were they were just like they were just snobby that's what those characters were they were just snobby we didn't even really get to know too much about them i know i've seen some of you talk about a theory of what if one of their child what if one of their children is involved in this movie i don't think that's happening but it just got me thinking yeah what if they are doing like a true crime documentary maybe that's why they're going back to the mocker house not to say that no one's not living in the mocker house but what if we have that true crime documentary playing out or getting talked about amongst the town of woodsboro and of course why that's hap while that's happening that's happening in response to it being made let's say the 25th anniversary of what happened all those years ago in woodsboro with billy and Stu, and we have this true crime documentary going on and then we have them gathering up all these things from the windsor college murders from the woodsboro murders from the hollywood murders at milton's mansion etc etc and all the loose ends and all the things that went into that and then the most recent woodsboro murder with sydney's cousin sydney progressing and developing her own book i don't i just think it would be a cool thing to see if they did that i wouldn't be against it and that would be a clever way to get someone like a hayden pantier on the screen really quickly just to say that hey i'm not important anymore but you know i'm alive and yeah i'm still out here and i'm a part of this documentary that may or may not be shown if it's a thing in this film i think that would be a cool thing to see on screen because for a lot of us that want to see hayden pantier back i think we'll take anything we can get that's something that i would just be fine with i wouldn't necessarily want that to be what we get but i'll take it i still to this day will i i will hold on to hope that she will appear in this movie i'm holding on to hope that she will be back i'm holding on to hope that this character made it out alive and that charlie failed at doing whatever he was trying to do which was kill her so i'm still holding out hope for kirby so getting back to this whole true crime documentary of course the thing in and of itself we wouldn't get to see anything major about it we wouldn't get to sit down and watch it let's just say that instead of making a new stab movie that's what they're working on they're working on a true crime documentary they're gathering up as many people who were involved in these killing sprees they're gathering up as many bystanders as many people who know the ins and outs 
of what they perceived to have happened because they weren't the direct targets, but they were on campus when this happened. They were in Woodsboro when this happened. They were on set of Stab 3 Return to Woodsboro when this happened. They went on to participate in the future of the Stab series. We can get a lot of people like that involved to talk about this true crime documentary and how it's affected the progression of the Stab franchise and how it's led to all these different things that have happened. I know in Screen 4 they talked about Sydney wanting to sue, so they stopped using her story and they did something else completely different, which is why the Stab franchise has become as convoluted looted as it is which in and of itself is commentary i guess on how horror films the more and longer they progress they run out of fresh ideas and they start becoming shadows of what they once were which i hope is not what's going to happen with screen five uh but those are my thoughts on that little true crime documentary idea that's been tossed around i think it would be a nice thing to see i think it could lend to just making us a little bit more invested in what we see on screen because now they're shaking things up a bit we're not getting a new stab movie but now we're also we're we're still matching up to instead of making people's tragedies a film we're now in the stage where people's tragedies in this in this world in our today's world the new thing is these true crime documentaries so i think that would be a nice clever next step progression for scream to do they can do that with the wardsboro killings they can do that with all of the ghost face killing sprees we can hear stuff from sydney about how she wanted nothing to do with it about how uh maybe gail weathers and dewey riley got approached and they wanted nothing to do with it they wanted to bring them all together they wanted nothing to do with it all they're able to manage to pull together of course is just these minor people who were there at the scene of the crime or who went to school with sydney like the uh sorority sisters from screen 2 played by rebecca gayhart and the other one i can't think of her name so i think that would be a not necessarily the freshest thing to see but just like okay scream still in of itself is trying to keep things fresh they're doing what is going on in today's world with all these true crime documentaries and now they're making it about the events that go on within this universe they're still being clever in some degree but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you go ahead and subscribe turn on post notifications that never a video in the description i have links on my social media accounts on my facebook twitter and instagram you can go ahead and message me there of course to let me know if there's any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future i'll go ahead and leave a link down in the down in the comment section to the facebook group if you want to join that facebook group to talk anything horror related with myself or other members and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video